for the students in the audience or really anybody that's watching interested in getting into data science, what are those things that are important for people to focus on? Um, whether it's skills, resources, types of knowledge, and where to kind of get those, if we can just focus on answering that in particular. For sure. I, I think there's one thing that I really want to make clear is that there's no one size fits all approach to, to learn this domain. Uh, the most important thing that you can do is to get started somewhere and just dig mm -hmm. in and, and like create a space where you're working and you know what to do, like certificates, courses, boot camps, like that's an incredible place to say, hey, like, you know, you start here and you end here. A, a lot of people when they're they're getting into data science, their biggest challenge is, oh, where do I start? Like, you know, there's so much in this field. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where you start. You're going to learn most of it eventually, right? Like if I start over here, if I start over here, I'm eventually going to encompass all of that thing. So getting past that that initial phase of, of, of doubt and overwhelm uh, associated with the volume of information and just like, uh, just as I did, I, I found a thread and I pulled on it and I kept pulling on it, kept pulling on it and eventually this whole domain of, of analytics started to open up to me. That's a big one. Um, I personally, if I were to do it again, I always uh, enjoy starting with the coding. Like if, I, if you learn mm. Python, if you learn R, I, I prefer Python. I find that I can, um, I can apply everything that I'm learning. So, so if, if I'm learning a math concept, right? Yeah. Understanding Python allows me to translate that math concept into code and it allows me to experiment with it, right? I can create a distribution. I can cut the distribution in these different ways using programming. I can do that with a pen and paper too. But to me, just having that, uh, that toolkit to be able to, again, translate this math into something that I'm using on a more regular basis as a data scientist is a very powerful thing. Uh, I, I will say, I, I think the math, the foundations, the statistics, all these things are incredibly important and you, you need yeah. to learn them to, to have a, a career in this field. But I have just personally found that if I go the coding route and the, the application route, I understand the math concepts better, right? Again, if I have to implement something in code, I understand the inner workings a little bit better. And that eventually gives me some stickiness to, to put the, the theorem and attach the theory to that uh, model of the world I've already created, that actionable thing that I can tinker with. Uh, this, this sort of hands-on approach to me has been the, the most successful. Uh, again, if that's not how you think, if you love the math, if you love the theory, if you love the statistics, that's totally fine. You can start there and then eventually integrate the other way. But I have, again, personally found the most success. And I'd say the majority of people find that, uh, you know, like the hands-on approach of coding first is is just uh, a little bit easier for them but again mm. that that varies tremendously i i've you know through the through my podcast ken's nearest neighbors i've talked with over 70 different uh, data scientists machine learning engineers people within this domain and the one common strain that everyone shared is that basically no one broke into the field in the same way oh it's you know some of them learned the tools in in a similar way uh, but there's people who who just completely self-studied there's phds there's people who came from finance or yeah. you know, biology or even theater right they all they all broke into this field they all learned their skills in in essentially pretty different ways and to me that's something that's really powerful you have to find you have to be introspective you have to find what works for you and then you have to again go out and do that start somewhere like the most important thing i will stress this again is to start if you enjoyed this clip, here is another clip that you guys will enjoy from the very same segment or watch the full episode over here. With that said, don't forget to subscribe. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.